How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out this week's build showcase of this 2021 Chevy Tahoe paramedic vehicle. How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. We're taking a look at this 2021 Chevy Tahoe paramedic vehicle. It's the new 21 body style um, in the SSV package. So as you can see, we've matched their graphics package to the previous vehicles that we built for Blooming Grove. Uh, vehicle features sound off signals, blueprint system, the new 500 system with the OBD2 link. And we also have sync, uh, light bars and M-Power light bar, dual color, four M-Powers dual color in the grill, tied in the factory headlight flasher. Uh, we have a worn uh, jump start kit. So it gives them a power port that gives them a spot to plug jumper cables into so they can jump start another vehicle. So you take a look at the side, you can see the rest of the graphics that we've did on the vehicle. Uh, under mirror intersectors on the mounting bracket for the mirror. And then in the rear side window, we have sound off signal single Enforce. Taking a look at the back, interior Enforce light bar, vehicle specific. Uh, LED bulb replacement tied into blueprint along with the parking light flashing. So there's no modification to the tail light to retain the warranty of that tail light. Small auto eject tied into an inverter charger with a heater inside and then four inch M powers mounted to the rear bumper. White override for reverse and rear scene and rear hatch. As you can see with the hatch open through the link module, we turned off the interior light bar so that way it doesn't shine down. Uh, four inch M powers on the rear hatch lip. Six by three sound off interior lights. So taking a look at the cabinet that we built for them. Um, custom designed to fit all their equipment. Uh, two slide out trays full depth with slide locks. Allows them to get their equipment out. You can see we have the worn quick connect kit and then we've got another pull out tray. And on the right side, we fabbed up aluminum trays uh, to give them more space. With the smaller Tahoe, we needed extra room for their equipment, so we did some out of aluminum. Another tray on the bottom. So on the driver's side of the cabinet, you can see we've taken out the larger section of the seat. Cargo netting over our side door cabinet with adjustable shelf. Uh, we've got bottle storage underneath for their extinguisher and their O2 bottle. And then you can see the notch out here is actually so that the backboard can be slid in through the back and then it closes up this area here. So taking a look at the uh, front driver area, we have our speakers for our radios mounted to our headliner, uh, our HDPE console, angled series. Uh, we've brought in uh, extensions for the USB connections so that way they didn't have to pull the factory one out, nice pocketed uh, hint tablet mount. Two radios, our blueprint controller, our custom cup holders with pen pockets, uh, and then we have a map pocket on the back. And then you can see on the back side of the cabinet, we've got our 110 outlet that's tied into our uh, shoreline power. And then we ha also have our heater mounted up top. So now you can check the vehicles in its drive response mode. We have our headlight flasher activated, our light bar patterns changed, added white, and we've also brought in white to all of the rest of the lights on the body to give it a little bit more uh, aggressive response mode, automatically shifts into park, uh, light pattern goes down to red only flashing, no flashing white, all through the OBD2 link module. Thanks for checking out this week's build showcase. If you like the video, please subscribe, like it, share it with your friends. If you have any questions about this vehicle, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to answer any questions that you have.